everyone, and I'm, re I'm really glad that you're here. Uh, thank you for being here. Uh, we have certainly been looking forward to this day for a long time as we, you know, move into this former Gwinnett Place mall space uh, to offer a dedicated mass vaccination site for our community. This could not have happened without the incredible partnership with Gwinnett County and specifically um, Chairwoman Hendrickson for sure. For over a month now, our health department has been vaccinating individuals in phase 1A. To date, we have vaccinated over 25,000 individuals. And I know it's been challenging for our community to get appointments. And we certainly hope that in the coming weeks, the federal government will allocate more vaccine to our state. Yet while vaccine supply remains a limiting factor, moving our operation to this um, location is a foundational step to support our efforts um, when our vaccine supply increases. Currently at the most, we've been able to vaccinate about 1,000 individuals per day, and we still operate in the time of COVID, so we have to socially distance to keep our staff and everyone safe. This site allows us to do that um, and, and expand to more vaccinations also as our vaccine supply increases. Remember then an appointment is still required uh, to receive a vaccine here. Fortunately, Gwinnett County brought all their resources to the table to make this site available. This space was vacant two weeks ago and has now been transformed into the mass vaccination site that we need. As we start receiving more vaccine, we will be able to build this up to provide uh, close to 20,000 vaccines per week at this location. And I do wanna encourage the public to remain patient we still have a long way to catch up before our supply catches up with the demand that we're seeing here. I do want to extend my deepest gratitude to Gwinnett County, especially Chairwoman Hendrickson, uh, for making this happen at such an incredible speed. She, Glenn Stevens, and their team have literally moved mountains to ensure that we could have this functional space available to serve as many individuals as possible. This wouldn't have happened without her leadership and the tremendous amount of work from Gwinnett County staff. We are also incredibly grateful to Joe Allen and Greg Wisdom from Gwinnett Place CID for their support, and also Ben Yorker from Northwood Raven Realty, the property owners of the old Sears space. I also want to thank our health department staff and the volunteers from the Medical Reserve Corps. Our staff has been at the forefront of responding to this virus for a year now, and I appreciate our team for showing up ready to work each and every day for mass testing and now mass vaccination. And I will turn this over now to Chairwoman Henderson. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Arona, and good morning, everyone. Um, I wanna start off by thanking everyone who had a hand in getting this location off the ground. We had so many hands that contributed to plan review, permitting, uh, electrical. Uh, there were so many aspects to get this site turned around in a matter of three weeks. We saw a need, we had the resources, and we kicked into high gear to make sure that we could meet a critical need in our community. This site is the product of what it means when we all come together to focus on solutions to save lives in our community. Gwinnett County is leading in cases and we are number two in deaths. And having a mass site like this will allow us to administer up to 3,000 vaccinations per day. That is significant. And on behalf of the county, we are proud to be a part of this endeavor to save lives. I also would be remiss if I did not recognize our District 1 Commissioner, Kirkland Cardin. This site actually sits right in the heart of his district. We are also joined with Commissioner Watkins of District 3. Not only is he a county commissioner, but he also works for, as a volunteer with the uh, Medical Reserve Corps and has been very instrumental in helping to administer the vaccinations. And we are always seeking volunteers to help in this endeavor too. This is a, a, a group effort, it's a team effort, it's about community, it's about meeting critical needs, and I hope that this becomes the first of many opportunities where we can really step up and meet the needs all across Gwinnett. So I wanna thank you, I'll turn it back over to uh, Dr. Arona, and we will open it up for questions before we go on to our tour. Thank you. 
question for you about this the space that you have here. How important and how critical is it to have this much room when you're talking about the potential of vaccines to come? Well, I can, I can tell you that this is a centralized location within our county. It's a perfect location, easily accessible for multiple modes of transportation. And having a, a large site like this allows us to run through with our process being as smooth as it is. We can run through a lot of people through here uh, very safely, social distancing and uh, keeping everyone safe. So we're thrilled to have this large of a space uh, especially. Dr. Rona, can yes. you expand on the amount of vaccines you've distributed so far? Went out and then break it down by race. Well, we we um, are waiting on that data. We have data from our own health department uh, about that, but we don't have countywide data. Remember, we've we've given twenty five over twenty five thousand vaccinations at our um, health department so far, um, but that's not uh, the only place that offers vaccination within our county, and so. Um, the State Department is providing a uh, dashboard on vaccinations that will soon, I was told, will be available this week by county so that we can search for that kind of data. Thank you. Will we see an immediate impact in terms of appointment availability with the launch of this site? Well, like I said, you know, really we're moving all of our operations right now here but we're still limited in terms of how many uh, vaccinations that we can give because of our supply. We did, uh, we were op able to open about 7,700 appointments for next week at this location, which is a little bit more um, or close to what we've been doing. But, but with this site, the best thing about it is that as our vaccine allotment grows, we'll be able to expand quickly so we're ready and prepared to do that. Can you talk about what the supply versus demand is right now? Yes, sir. This, uh, the demand is very, very high. Those 7,700 uh, appointments were gone within a few hours uh, and filled. And so it just is a testimony to the amount of people seeking vaccines at this point. We're still within phase 1A and we still have a lot to do. In Gwinnett County, uh, based on old census data, we have over 100,000 seniors over 65 years old. And so we have, it's going to take a minute to get everyone vaccinated. The number of uh, vaccines that we have within this, uh, get it in the same number than other counties or because when it has more cases, have more vaccine supplies? Uh, well, what we do every week is we request uh, the vaccine uh, amount that we feel we need for that week and the state then distributes the vaccine based on what the state receives. And so I know that the counties are not split equally. Of course, it's population based and also our requests are population based as well. Um, but we never receive all of what we request. And so again, it's just a tight, um, tight control. The state, you know, receives and then distributes and ships it out to, to people. And then as soon as we get it, we um, schedule appointments. And another question. Uh, so we have has different cities and we know that uh, North Cross and other cities like New Blue has more than a higher people infected by uh, COVID-19. Those people from those cities have priorities or how is the New Blue working? Well, right now the vaccine is available to anybody who can make an appointment and they don't have to live within Gwinnett County. Um, so we, are, I think being centrally located here uh, amongst the community that serves a diverse population will be really important and I and I hope that that will draw people to us for appointments. Um, it's important for us to get the information out to um, diverse populations who are hesitant about the vaccine and so we're working on those right now to try to really address some of their concerns, listening to their concerns and addressing those concerns so hopefully the uptake in more of the diverse populations will be uh, larger in the future. Do you think President Biden's promise to get uh, 1 million doses to pharmacies a week starting next week will some impact how much you guys are going to be allotted for sites like this? Well, I don't think it'll impact our allotment because I don't think it's the taking away from what we're currently getting. The, the more that we can receive vaccine to our community all across the board from wherever, is the more that we'll have vaccinations available for our community. So we welcome our pharmacies and medical providers and hospitals and urgent care clinics and especially the smaller pharmacies to sign up to be enrolled providers as we, um, we need their help because the health department can't do it all by ourselves. Are we ready for the tour now? 
Yeah. All right. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. This way, we have a temperature screener, and also just to make sure that they get our young hips and hips, and then also um, they make sure that they have the love uh, right there. They just put a little water system to let us know, even way in the back, we have a lot of those more than plenty of that seat. Once they do, they come, they come in here. And they wait to be called. And check-in is basically an area where we get some basic information from them. And they also read and look at the e-way, which they're signed up for. And then um, they basically slide into the And then um, once they're through here, then and we have 20. 